Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this fresh and glowy makeup look for you guys. I've already moisturized my face with the Carez 24 hour brightening moisturizer. And then next I'm going to go in with the Sephora Bright Future Concealer Corrector in the shade Medium Melon. And I'm going to be pinpointing this wherever I have darkness or blueness as in underneath my eyes. Also put it around my nose and on my acne scars. And then just going to blend it everywhere on my face. This will really help the foundation go on much more smoother and not look gray or ashy on those areas where it's darker on your face. And it will allow everything to just look like a blank canvas rather than, you know, look splotchy. Color correcting really does help and that's why I love doing it and spending a little bit extra time during my makeup routine. Next, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and Max Face and Body. Mix those two together and dot it all over my face. What I really like about this foundation combo is that it evens out my skin tone and still kind of, you know, reveal my flaws as in like acne scars and stuff, which is totally okay. I feel like makeup is supposed to not really conceal your face or conceal your flaws but more so just kind of make you feel a little bit more confident in your own skin and let's admit it guys it's super fun putting it on it's not it's, it's really just like the best thing ever so yeah i'm just going to be blending it all over my face and this really helps my face stay hydrated and i absolutely love it Next, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium and just dot it underneath my eyes and on any sort of acne scars and around my mouth. This concealer is so good. It's really high coverage and it does increase whatsoever. I highly recommend this concealer to anyone that's having a lot of trouble with creasing concealer or needs a little bit of extra coverage. This is absolutely perfect. I do really like this a lot and I highly recommend it to anyone with any skin type. I have extremely dry skin and this doesn't cling on to my dry patches or makes my under eyes feel very uncomfortable. It's just a really, really good concealer and now I know and understand all the hype around it. So yeah, um, still blending my concealer I guess. Okay, so next I'm going to take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. It's a little liquid that I got in like a pack of like this and like a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, I'm just going to be pinpointing that at the high points of my face and also the bridge of my nose. I absolutely love this stuff. It literally makes you look like you're glowing from within. It's such a beautiful highlight. It's probably one of my favorites. So next I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Medium. I'm first going to go in with a much more like smaller dense packed brush and just set um, the concealer under my eyes and on my lids and then go in with much more of a fluffier brush and set my T-zone area avoiding all over my face just the T-zone part just because that's where foundation really tends to slip during the day. Then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Contour Palette and mix in those two shades, the bronzer and the contour shade, and just apply that wherever I would naturally bronze and contour. I feel like this is such a quick trick to do, just mixing those two powders together. It allows to contour your face as well as give it some color and bronze it up. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Defining Pencil and just fill in my brows. I like a very natural brow, a very wispy brow, so I don't really tend to draw in my bra I don't really tend to draw in my brows all the way. I focus more of the color and dimension towards the end of the brow, and on the very front, I barely put any color on it, and then I'll just kind of brush out my brow just like I'm doing in the video and just focus some of the color in the front as well. So with using the pencil I really just don't touch the front part at all unless I'm trying to like shape it or fill in some sparse areas just because it gives the brow much more of a natural look and doesn't really look drawn in. Nobody wants like a drawn in you know cartoon eyebrow. I mean unless you know you love that look that's totally fine but I definitely prefer a much more natural and wispier brow and I try to attain it at the best way that I can. And now I'm just kind of blending in all the hairs a lot more and brushing them upwards so they can just look a little bit more natural and untidy compared to like completely perfect. Now using my Velvet Touch con 
oh my god, why do I keep saying concealer? Now taking my Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush by Kiko in the shade number 8. I'm just going to be warming up the product in my fingers and then just applying it to my cheeks and then blending it out with the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to take that bronzing shade from that same Smashbox contour palette with a blending brush and applying it sort of messily on my eyebrow, I mean on my eyes. I'm so sorry you guys. I'm like, it's my first time doing a voiceover and I just can't get my words together. It's really late at night and I'm just tired. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to be blending that all over my crease. And then taking a highlight, I will just put it in the inner tear ducts of my eyes. This technique will really just kind of like brighten up the eyes a lot more. And then we're going to take the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and apply it to my waterline. This just kind of mimics a bigger eye and it makes your eye look a lot more fresh. Taking that same bronzer shade that we used in our crease, I'm just going to take it in a small smudger brush and smudge it on my lower lash line, giving it a much more effortless look rather than super high maintenance. And then I'm um, just going to curl my eyelashes using the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. It's so funny how I curl my eyelashes. I look like I'm struggling big time. Anyways. So I'm going to take a black eyeliner. I believe this is NARS Longer Than Life. But anyways, I'm just going to tight line my eyes with this on my upper lash line. This is a really painful but a really good trick to kind of mimic thicker eyelashes. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to take the Balm Mad Lash Mascara and apply it to my lashes. A really good trick when applying mascara is you want to focus most of the product onto the base of your lashes and then just wiggle it up all the way to the very tip and besides kind of coating the mascara wand all the way towards the back of your eyelashes you just want to apply the product on the very tips and then just wiggle it back up um, this will just kind of allow the lashes to look a lot more longer and voluminous rather than get clumped. And I have this problem a lot with the Balm Mascara. It's an amazing mascara, but it tends to make the eyelashes really clump together. And that's just not cool. So yeah, and I'm avoiding putting any mascara on my lower lashes just because I feel like it gives the eye look a much more softer look. Next, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever 14C Lip Liner and line my lips with this. In this look, I really wanted to show you guys two different lip options. One is much more fresh and bright, and the other one is a lot more up my alley. It's just like a brown lip. So, yeah, I really like doing this lip too sometimes, but I just tend to wear brownies and like liquid lipsticks a lot more. But this is a very fresh and bright lip that I'm about to show you guys. So I'm taking the Sephora Rouge Balm in the shade B06. I don't know the name of it because they don't put it on their packaging, but I know it's like plummy something. So yeah, I, re I like these, but they're just not my favorite. Honestly, I just like the color rather than the formula. So yeah, that is that. Now look number two. Going back with that same Makeup Forever 14C lip liner, I'm just going to be lining my lips again. Seriously guys, this is like my ride or die lip liner. I love this stuff. And then next I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Lamarck Cream Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hot Cocoa. I recently purchased this and I cannot emphasize enough how much I am in love with this. I think down to the formula, to the color, everything is just extravagant in this liquid lipstick. And... Yeah, I mean, can we just talk about the color, guys? I'm just so obsessed. To set my entire face, I'm just going to take my MAC Prep and Prime and spray it all over my face. Then take my Beauty Blender to match everything together for a much more natural and seamless finish. And you know what, guys? I forgot to put on my highlight, so I'm going to do that right now. And just take my Essence Pure Nude Highlight. And I'm just going to apply that on the high points of my cheeks, basically wherever I applied that liquid highlight earlier on in the video. That's it for the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!